Ladies and gentlemen, that is the thing that you've all been waiting for. The first episode of Invincible Season 2 is out and it's long and it's apparently awesome people are telling me it's fantastic now i don't see how there is a world that invincible season 2's first episode can actually top invincible season 1's first episode but i guess we're just gonna have to try all right baby let's do it let's do it where are we gonna go from here how are you gonna top season 1 you know, when it comes to writing stories, you always have to make sure the next season tops this previous season somehow. Now, normally, that is... I mean, it's not always done right, obviously. Sometimes they, they try to have the next season top it by just making it awesome. But how are you going to top this? All right. A desert. A desert. Ooh, ooh. A desert. Oh, desert. A desert. Oh, shit. That's not healthy. Oh, God. That's scary somehow. What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I've been hit harder before. Like, way harder. <laughs> Dude, you, you can keep your kinks private. It's not... This isn't OnlyFans. So arrogant. Just like your father. <laughs> Damn. He go. He go. Kick his ass, kid. You got this. launching you right into this my god they're not letting you sit there start to appreciate the world they're like no sir flying superman fight kick his ass mark think mark kick his ass try and see flies why can't you trust me damn Bro, the reverse racism goes hard. I love, dude. I think reverse racism is a is a really powerful theme. Sometimes, you know, like obviously the Viltrumites are the racists. They're coming here colonizing all these other planets. They're just wiping them out uh, before they could become a threat, just because they are on a lower level than the Vil than Viltrum. And here you got someone who just hates all Viltrumites, even though Mark is not a bad guy. After what Omni Man? Oh God, Mark, don't look too hot. Last time my nose was bleeding like this, it was because I was a character in One Piece. After what you did! Whoa! Whoa! What the frick? You! Yup. Ah! I was sure he was not coming back until at least the end of the season. What? He's here already? Oh! Oh my, I'm literally shit. Is this a dream? Please tell me this is a dream. So menacing. Ah! Oh, just <laughs> holy crap, bro! Man's a monster. Jesus, fuckle butt. Oh. Okay. Mortal your way out of that. Oh my lord! It's just, it's so brutal. All right, this has to be a dream, Dad. Dad is what's wrong, and then Dad becomes evil, and then he wakes up. Has to be, right? There's literally no way. Mortal lived for thousands of years, trying to make this planet better. Dude, I still love his voice. All its people. I thought he'd see the truth. Like you did. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. His nightmare isn't watching his ba dad become evil again. His nightmare is him agreeing. I think he was trying to lead us away. So we must be close. People of Earth, we know. You all feel like we're the bad guys because my dad and I took over your planet. But, but no, you're misunderstanding. Your planet's not taken over. It's just under new management, guys. You are going to be part of the Viltrum Empire now. You're so lucky. This no is an upgrade. No one dies from cancer, and no one ever... <laughs> no one dies from cancer. Yes, we wiped out half the population of the planet, but listen, at least cancer ain't gonna get any more, y'all. Messes with Earth again. This I is like how the mafia... The mafia like says, listen, you give me every money you own and you're under our protection. Hey, did you pay your tribute to be under our protection? But I came around and you will come around too. And in the long run, you'll thank us. Oh shit. 
but you need to remember the more you resist the worse this gets you're doing he's doing it for we you. didn't destroy your cities you destroyed them by fighting back yeah your new viltramite rulers are on the way and it's time to join us in welcoming them and if you still think you can stop us don't forget i'm invincible oh he said the thing he said the thing Woo! and then he wakes up as a horrifying realization of the monster that he almost became please people of earth we know. Oh God, it's just on a replay. You all feel like we're the bad guys because my dad and I took over your planet. But no. You're going to be part of the Viltrum Empire. You're now. welcome. No one goes hungry. No one dies from cancer. And no one ever messes with Earth again. Look, I didn't get it at first either. But I oh baby, the terrorists. Or I guess the. The rebellion. Angstrom, were you followed? Okay, this if is going way too deep for it to just be a dream. I'm a little scared now. Mortal led them away. We're safe. Yeah. That's what Rex thought too. Ooh. Did you retrieve the null energy? If this doesn't make Omni Man have a bad day. Nothing will. <sighs> oh no. Oh god no. Yep, that, that's a bit of an oh god no situation, I'd say. Well. Told you we were close. Hey Eve, you look good. <laughs> What is going on? I am so lost! This is how you start a sequel, by the way. Just saying. This, it's been years since the first season. You start a sequel by throwing you into the midst of something that makes no sense. And then, retroactively, have it make sense to you. Eve! Robot! Oh, bro. He tried! He tried! <laughs> Oh my god, that dude looks just like me, for real, for real. Get back! Dude, this isn't a battle. This is just a straight up slaughter. And no matter what they try, they are up against a superior life form. There, there is nothing they can do. This is just sad, honestly. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. He tried. Someday, you too will die. Sure. But not today. But you should have died at birth. Oh my god, bro. Holy crap. He could have clapped back with, but not today, or whatever. No, sir. Oh my lord. <laughs> bro just gave that dude a 94th trimester abortion. Holy shit. Chancy. You and your stupid resistance made us kill thousands of innocent people. Yeah, it's your fault. Just give in to the oppressors, baby. Stop this, or I stop you. Please. I'd rather die. What, Eve? I would never kill you. Because he's a nice guy, guys. Because he's a nice guy. I can't let you hurt anyone else. What? I'm sorry you had to do that, Mark. She didn't leave you a choice. Uh, she's not dead. Just paralyzed. Oh my god, is that better? Huh, so that's what you were practicing on those protesters last week. Ah! What a true American hero. I was not ready for this. I was not ready. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I've got some people who'll take care of her. So, you know, I can visit. 
Hi, since you were all part of the resistance... Now you are all going to die. We need to kill you. Yeah, I got that right, and pretty much. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Murderers! Ah, a volunteer. Don't touch me! Hey, buddy. You sentenced yourself to death when you joined Club Resistance. Bro, it's your fault. When we wanted to wipe out humanity and just let the nice ones survive and you resisted, you... You're doing this to yourself, buddy. But what's so crazy is like you could see the lo I don't want to say I don't even want to say the word logic, but you can almost see the perspective that he has as this, you know, allegedly greater race, as this higher life form that they're just doing their duty and taking over the planet and if you resist you die. It's it's nothing personal. Justice. Justice will come for you. For all the friends we've lost to your senseless cruelty, for all the families you've torn apart, you will reap Let's what do you... this, Mark. I missed lunch because of that riot in Bangkok. Yeah, way ahead of you. Rick Sanchez, C-137, here to take on Omni-Man. Yeah! Yeah! No, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, whoa, dude. What the hell was that? A portal or something? Eh, who cares? Yeah, <laughs> what's that guy gonna do against these guys? Let's finish this off. I'm starving. Dude, it's like swatting flies. That's insane. I think that the level of nonchalance that they had killing these people is more horrible than even the atrocities they were committing on my screen. I've seen movies where people die, okay? That shit sucks. But the nonchalance that they had is is blood curdling. It's like actual goosebumps inducing. He is hating his life. This was just a depression montage. We all remember that day when Titans touched down in oh, Chicago. God. The battle. Of course it was Chicago. Ha <laughs> ha, Chicago. Devastation. The no. uh, one day on Amber as a girlfriend. No, no. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was literally the least traumatizing thing that happened. Austin lives. For some, the pain will never fade. Yeah. But for many others, the healing has already begun. Let's go. In only a few short weeks, crews have been hard at work rebuilding the city. Yeah, dude, but you see, if this would have happened, someone in chat just said, if this would have happened in Detroit, no one would have noticed. Average day in Detroit. All the Detroit people are like, all you Chicago people think you're so cool. Think you're so cool. This happens to us weekly. It had been so devastating. Hello, Mom. You don't have to go back if you're not ready. Neither. Oh my god, are they talking about school? Please tell me they're not talking about school. Do you? I think we're both dying to get out of this house. Hmm. Uh, this dude was all around the world in the last three minutes, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't think dying to get out of this house is his issue right now. Yeah. See you later, Mom. You too. Bro, he's actually going to school. He's a superhero! He's saving the world on a daily basis! Every minute that you're keeping him in school, you are causing deaths that he could have saved. What is wrong with society? It is I, Ugwe Iguana. Oh shit. No, don't kill him, please, please! He did nothing wrong! Who okay. holds a grudge this long? I said I was sorry. Get back from the door if you want to eat. That's the thing. I don't want to eat that garbage. I want real food. I said get yeah. back. Further. Turn around. I am not gonna- Turn around! You should count yourself lucky there, Pete. Bro, do you remember these twins from the first step? First season, these the genius twins, these two, two like these guys, they're cute. Blue Dwayne ain't having this shit, true. You could have torn your arm off, smashed your head in, ripped out your liver, made your spine into a belt. I ain't scared. You get back too, or you're both going hungry. Instead, we barely gave you a concussion. That means we like you. 
<laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for only just barely giving me a concussion. That was very nice of you. Anyway, I don't want you breaking out from prison again. That means you're a friend. That means when we break out of here again, we don't kill you. As long as you keep us in good food, which you're currently not. Don't try to bargain with me. We've got security. Oh my God, that's hilarious. These guys, they're so right though. Like if I was this guy, I would give them good fucking food. These guys broke out of prison. How many times already? At least twice. These guys broke out of prison at least twice so far. Homie, give them good food. If they break out, you don't want them to kill you because when they eventually get caught, they are going to be back in this prison and they are going to want good food again. So if you keep giving them good food, they are incentivized to let you live, you idiot. Security turned up to 100 on you two. New cameras, new guns, new doors, new guards. You ain't gone nowhere. Did you? Oh, yeah. I shit portals now. Didn't I mention that? <gasps> Down here, hurry! <laughs> Oh god. Uh oh. You think uh... Well, it's better than prison, bro. It's literally <laughs> Guy says new guards. Meanwhile, it's the same fucking dude. Bro! Could be worse than the salmon. That's it, baby. It can't be worse than prison. See you around, Pete. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> oh no, it's that guard in an alternate universe. It's an alternate universe with that guard we got killed. Oh my god, they just had to stick it to him. Where the hell are we? I guess, dude, I, I'm so mad that it, it became a multiverse story. Like, I knew there were already alternate universes in season one, but not like direct one to one copies. I bet he knows. Nope, he was called here the same as you. He don't know shit. Welcome to the Citadel of Ricks! Holy shit. What happened here? A tragedy, but... Wow, man really gives away everything right away. Look at that. Don't worry, this isn't your world. My name is Angstrom Levy. Angstrom Levy? Hi, Angstrom. Why'd you break us out? And what do you want? That's basically the same question, idiot. Damn. I'll explain as we go. This earth's too dangerous to stay here for long. Let me guess, you can open portals between dimensions. I mean, I don't like to brag. But not within the same dimension. Hmm. And why do you think that? Cause because we're walking, idiot! Cause we're walking. Yo, that's exactly what I just said! Yep. <laughs> because they're freaking walking. And because you needed to find a crater deep enough here to reach us in the GDA's underground prison there. Ah, uh, you two are sharp. You oh, that's exactly the same location in this world as that. Interesting. Very interesting. I like that. No, I was worried, Fring, you could be a mistake. Still might be if you don't tell us what you want. I need your help with a very... I am Angstrom Levy, have you not heard? Very specific problem. Last time we helped someone else with their very specific problem, it didn't work out so well for us. Look, I'm a pacifist. I don't hurt people. I don't kill people. I only use my- I let other people kill people for me! I'm not just a pacifist, I'm also practical! Power for good. And working with the two of you is a real ethical and moral stretch for me, but I don't have- Alright, dude, you want us to feel bad for you? Oh, working with you, oh, you scum, is just- it's such an ethical and moral stretch. I'm Angstrom Levy, by the way. Of a choice. There's no one else with your scientific je ne sais quoi. Trust me, I've looked everywhere. Now, I can't force you to help me. What a bitch! But I will leave you here forever if you don't, or- Let's go! Angstrom Levy, unfathomably based! <laughs> Listen, you can help me if you want. I'm giving you the choice. I am a complete- an utter moral person. My ethical values are incredibly strong. I am so ethical, I will not even force you to work for me. Now, if you don't, I will leave you stranded in this desert apocalypse for eternity, but, uh, but, uh, the good news is at least I'm not gonna force you to work for me. Somewhere worse. <sighs> I miss when we only work for ourselves. Self-employment! That's why employers, bro, stay away from them, bro. Two. They're just out there to suck your soul, isn't that right, editor? Oh. Oh. Is that 
Yep, I that makes sense. I would be staring at him the same way. Well, that's not awkward. Mark. Mark Grayson. Mark my words. You are a bit of an asshole. God, listen. I. Ah, he's the bully. I'm, uh, sorry, your dad got exploded. Oh, uh, thanks, but I don't really want it. That sucks, man. Totally sucks. True. To when my dad got exploded, bro, it ruined my whole afternoon. About it. I can't imagine not ever seeing my dad again, and my dad's a dick. I hear your dad was an okay guy, though. And he was like Jack, right? I bet you wish you got. Yeah, he was actually a great guy. He was such a good guy. My favorite thing about my dad was uh, uh, how he viewed all races as equal. Yes, below his own race, but but as far as equality goes, he he was pretty good about it. Dude, the worst thing. <laughs> When someone's dad explodes, guys, don't go up to them and say, sorry to hear your dad exploded. My dad's gone too, but he's a dick. Your dad was probably fine. Anyway. Thanks, Todd. Mark appreciates it. Ah, oh, saved by the greatest character in fiction. Hey, you okay? Good talk, man. See, I'm not an asshole. I'm not an asshole. Uh, your, uh, my perspective has changed entirely based on how elo eloquently you've described your wholesome feelings for another guy. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But are you fine? Yo, yo! Got him. Right, Todd's right. My dad might as well be dead. That's how it feels anyway. Sure. Uh, yeah. Better if his dad was dead. I think that that's what he's thinking. Uh, I wish my dad was dead and not, you know, probably coming back at some point to wipe out humanity. I don't get to be sad. I'm part of the problem. I'm the reason all those. No, bro, don't say that. It's not true. You are not defined by your race. You are defined by who you are as a person. People in Chicago died. Wait a second. I, I shouldn't be here. I should be out there making up for all my mistakes. You didn't kill those people, Mark. Omni-Man did. But I didn't save them. You stopped your dad he and did saved the planet. And it almost killed you. You don't owe anyone anything. I hate to say it. Based Amber. I'm not so sure. It's hard to experience that. Dude, when Omni-Man was holding him up in front of the train and the train was driving past and his body was the weapon that was killing the passengers on that train. Holy shit a moly. Like, it's traumatizing. Yes, it's not your fault, but it's see you, uber traumatizing. What can I do for you? Listen, man, I was wondering. Going back to school made me realize it's the wrong place for me right now. Base Mark! Base Mark! Dude, I am, I pray, I pray that this, the moral lesson here is, no, you must still go to school. You must still have friends. I hope that that's not a lesson here. I need to be out there. He's right. You need to start calling on me again. He's right. Hey, hold on. I'm hold on. You think a face as beautiful as this is going to kiss your ass? Better. I'm stronger. I'm ready. No, you're not. You're not, Mark. What? What do you mean? I'm not, you Mark. You think I haven't been watching your early morning outings? That's why I need you. I need to do more. It's only been a month, Mark. Focus on your mom, your grades. Dude, I f your grades? What, you want him to become a lawyer? Your girlfriend. You want to go to college with Amber, right? You Who? Why does he need to go to college? Are you kidding me? Dude, I hate this agenda-pushing bullshit. Can't do that if you don't graduate. I can save lives. He's right. You did. You saved a ton of them. But you also went through an emotional tumble dryer, and I need to know your head stopped spinning based. before I let you back in the game. Sort so of no, based. Not yet. You can't stop me. I don't need your permission to be a superhero. Well, vigilantism kind of is breaking the law. You know who else said that to me? I'm not my dad. 
I'm not my dad. And also, remember, his dad said it to get into his good graces to wipe out humanity. He literally stopped him. You, you cannot have a better rap sheet than the guy that stopped the other guy from wiping out humanity. Mark, I see what you did to that table. You made that table look like my right cheek. You're not ready. Take some time off, kid. Some real time off. You need it. See, based, but that's not focus on your grades. Focus on your grades. Oh, it's very important that I know that uh, the the way to, to f figure out all the, the, the math equations is by doing, uh, you know, minus B plus or minus the square root of 4AC minus 2A, uh, minus 4A over 2A, right? That, I, I have to know that so that I can figure out how to do all those, the fraction fucking shit. Jesus. This thing's still going on? It's not going well, sir. The you know, Mark could just zip right there. And yoink, and that's it. Just, just saying. Also, where this dude's back is. Guardians could use some help. They could really use invincible. I'm not making the same mistake I made with Nolan. How? There's that's not a mistake you made with Nolan. The guy was literally a programmed agent of an alien race to wipe out humanity. It's not your mistake. Goes back out there, and that's on a very short leash. <laughs> A kumquat cheek over there is really thinking he knows what's best for humanity. Oh my god, you know what's best for humanity? The fact that this guy over here, this dude doesn't just step on some random human. Yes, for stepping on my favorite bar, you piece of shit! Yeah, don't call me that! I'm the giant! And I want to be president of America! So based, so based! Yes, I would be down for the giant to be president of America. That's one of the greatest villain motivations I've ever heard in my life. And an astronaut! <laughs> oh. Um, those are like very oh. specific requests. Based on his speech patterns and vocabulary, the giant seems to have the mental capacity of an eight-year-old. Yes, I got, I got that vibe as well. <laughs> Monster Girl, let's go! Yeah, I looked up Monster Girl, and I did not get her. Explains the astronaut part. <laughs> it explains the astronaut part, but it doesn't explain the President of America part, because, well, you know, dumb fucks become the President all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Or no, you punched his eye. I don't care how old he is. He needs to go down now. That's an excellent suggestion, Samson. Excellent suggestion, Samson. Now that you mentioned that, I totally agree. There's a multi-level parking garage beneath this intersection. I will detonate stress points in the concrete and drop the giant Let's into it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We can neutralize him there without endangering him. Alright, dude. Time for Quebble Cop to get a new AI. Civilians. Brody! You okay? I'm... I'm not sure. Rex! <laughs> AI PTSD. No! Oh. charges! <laughs> Yeah! He just wants to be the president. What happened? I don't know. I couldn't move. My heart was racing. I was all sweaty. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's fear. Before all this was just a video. <laughs> oh! That's just fear! Thank you, Monster Girl. You've taught us so many things. Video game for you. Now you're here, in person, playing for real. Oh. It's a big difference. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Just like the first time you used the toilet. Yeah, this this is just just like that. Yeah. Sure, I'm a genius, but I'm not the right kind of genius. 
recognize this? <laughs> I love people that flex. It's like, hey, uh, I have an issue with my internet. I thought you were a genius. Well, I'm not that kind of genius. And then they just like turn it off and turn it back on. That's one of our somatic encoders. But bigger, I hadn't noticed. Exactly. I based it off your design. It reads, copies, and writes human minds. Oh. Except you can't get it working. I bet you can't. What's this thing's seat? A hundred? Yes, a hundred, but... The connectome buffers crash out. I thought I had enough. Mm, that's not gonna cut it. You'll need twice as many processing units. Ha <laughs> ha! This is exactly why I broke you both out of prison. How long to get it working? I love how ethical this guy is. What a what a Angstrom Levy! Angstrom Levy, you think you're so cool, don't you? Oh, only using half the proper amount of connecto buffers like a dumb shit. Not long, but two questions first. Question what? one: Why did they decide to go shopping in middle to replace the clothes? It's not like orange really stood out here. Option two: Get. One: What do you need it for? Two. What's in it for us? And no more bullshit about stranding us in some other dimension. Sure, sure. Instead, let me appeal to your philanthropic nature. Huh. Go on. Okay, all right, that's a good... <laughs> These guys are literally prisoners, okay? There's an infinite number of dimensions, and I was born with the ability to access all of them. Wait, so Angstrom Levy over here is just, he was just born with the power to open portals and no one ever heard of him? Isn't this like the best power ever? <laughs> you must have been a fun kid to babysit. Some differ from ours in the smallest way. Others couldn't be more different. Remember that world-changing battle between Omni-Man and Invincible a month ago? In most other dimensions, they teamed up and took over the planet. Oh my god, dude. That first 10 minutes of the episode really was real. It was just an alternate dimension where Invincible agreed. Bro, you could live in the best possible world, and you broke these two idiots out of prison? You're kidding. And we're the bad guys. Well, well yes, you're not as bad, but you're still bad. Listen, it's, it's complicated. It's not just... Yeah, you guys are still bad guys. What's important is that each dimension has something unique and valuable. Shakespeare's we've never read. Technologies beyond our understanding. New ways of thinking. Philosophies of peace. <laughs> Man goes from, well, most universes, uh, well, you know, in most universes, uh, Invincible and Omni-Man teamed up and wiped out the planet. All the philosophies of peace out there. Bro, think about it. All our problems, famine, war, climate change, cancer, have been solved somewhere else. And I can be the conduit of that knowledge. Okay, so why aren't you doing that? So why are you just wearing some random blue shirt, calling yourself Angstrom Levy in the middle of buttfuck nowhere world, calling these two bald, caked up prisoners to help you? He's who raises the bar for everyone by sharing what works. I'll help our world first, of course. Then everywhere else, I can save billions upon trillions of lives. Sounds like fun. But saving lives isn't really our jam. Damn. To do this, I need Assholes. deep knowledge of those other dimensions. You couldn't have found some science? You couldn't have just brought in Einstein? Br bring in like 16 different Einsteins and have them work on it? You needed to bring out the, the two goddamn most caked up prisoners of the planet? Good thing we've always been inquisitive. We've always been. Meet the family. All the angstroms. Bro, this literally is just the Citadel of Ricks. <laughs> Why is this dude finding a way to wipe out the Viltrumites? What is he doing with his life? <laughs> I did not see that coming. Because you're the clone. They're all alternate versions of me. And I've gathered ten times more in safe houses scattered across other dimensions. They don't have my ability, but they have something almost as valuable. <laughs> what a narcissist! Intimate local knowledge of their home dimensions that will help me figure out what they do best and how to get it here. So why bring yourself in- wait, so he's the only one with the power? All the other Angstrom Levies are just random civilians of their home worlds. 
Oh my god, dude. They're just... Shouldn't there be... Listen, this this is what uh, every show gets wrong about the multiverse. If a multiverse exists, then there are infinite universes with Angstrom Levies with his power. Yes, they're also infinite without his power, but they're infinite with his power. Anything that happens in any universe happens over infinite other universes. That's the point. That is the multiverse theory. Which brings us back to you. I need to copy all their know-how and put it in here. Why not just ask them questions? Because only someone who can see the whole puzzle can put it together. Oh my god, this, I don't like this dude, not gonna lie. This dude's a little too much of a bitch for me. Help me do this and I'll give you any single dimension you want. As long as you promise not to hurt anyone. We want one with no superheroes, good food, and a population that thinks we're gods. <laughs> okay. So listen, we'll just throw one dimension into the, whatever, into your guys' whims. Uh, and um, yeah, you'll help me out with my random god complex. What's... Dude, this, I don't know. That's such a wild lot. This whole... S okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll see where it goes. But right now, I am so, like, uninterested by what's going on there. This is just Rick and Morty, but more cringe. Mark, I'm home. Mark! Debbie! <gasps> I've been waiting for you. Oh, oh God, it's a Russian! Now the back door was open, so I let myself in. You like Stroganov, yes? Dude, I hate that little meme that they always do. It's like, oh, Debbie, I was waiting for you. Knife comes out. Oh, you got baited because I was just here to give you Stroganov. <laughs> Russian joke, always funny. Roads, the weather, coffee shops. Oh, and pizza. There's no good pizza in Moscow. None. It's none. Also I also absolutely hate the government, but I couldn't say that there. Shit. Italy. That's where you need to go for pizza. I know it's obvious, but it's true. A lot of people say that Italian pizza is overrated. Italian pizza is not overrated. Italian pizza is actually awesome. I was there just last year with with Nolan. Nolan? More like Yesland. That is why I came to visit. <laughs> you wanna hear something crazy? When I saw you with that knife, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> really? I would <sighs> never. Too obvious. Poison would be much better. Based! Based! Don't be a giga chat about it. Don't be cool about it. You think you're gonna try to be cool about how you're gonna assassinate people, homie? It's all poisons better. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I made that joke just now about killing you? Yeah, I wasn't joking at all. <laughs> I know Nolan lied to you. You were hurt as badly as I was. Bo as badly? Lady, you are not good at this whole, uh, this whole soft talk there, are you? Both our husbands died that night. <laughs> yeah. You can be sad and angry at the same time. That's how I feel. That's so nice of her to let her be that way. Don't worry. You were wondering, do be sad or do be angry? Well, good news is you can be both, lady. I got you all the way. I am supportive Russian friend. After burying Joseph. Oh, her boyfriend was the Flash guy. Oh. Oh, yeah, he did. Nolan killed so many people. He almost killed Mark. Said I didn't matter, that I was a pet. 20 years, 20 years, and I was a goddamn fucking pet. Sheesh. Yeah, this, honestly, this is worse. This is worse than anything. You can have your husband dying, but at least your memories of your husband remain intact. Here, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. That is so much, much worse. He was a bastard. The worst kind. But he's gone now. Yeah, he's gone. Superman, who was hell-bent on destroying the entire planet, is gone. Don't worry, he probably will never come back to finish the job, right? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just... Oh, I needed that. 
I don't have anyone to talk to, so I keep it all inside, and it's it's like acid. Have you considered therapy, lady? Eating me away until I'm hollow. I have to go back to Moscow in a few days, but... Uh... What's this? Don't say that's my Some... card. Don't say that's my card. I think that helped me. Oh, that's worse. Hey, Mom. Oh. Hi, Olga. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't make it any better. Oh, remember when my dad killed your husband, <laughs> Lamau? It's good to see you, Mark. Uh, I go to my room. Olga made dinner. I already ate. But the poison's strong enough! Don't, it'll get cold! Dude, this is just Mushoku Tensei Season 2, with less erections. You can't help him until you help yourself. That is actually I'm fine. based advice. Really, Olga, I'm fine. We've named you Olga because it is a sexy name. Only sex gods are named Olga. Ongoing repeated fuck-ups of monumental proportions. Oh, dude! You literally stripped them of their best fighter! Oh my god! They're trying their best. They're up against this Giga Giant. She becomes a moderately bigger creature. She is a useless clone maker. This dude pilots the worst bargain basement Iron Man alive. She is Ant-Man, except she's weak as shit. This dude shoots snotball fireballs like Mr. Five in One Piece. This guy threw a car. Bro, you stripped them of Superman. That's a little harsh, Cecil. That was a nice way of saying it, Kate. Don't push me. Damn. You're okay. slow, unprepared, undisciplined. Your superpowers take suck. take too long and the public pays the price. Hey, we put our necks on the line. Dude, man had the wildest voice crack I've ever heard make it to the final cut of... <laughs> what, dude? Too long and the public pays the price. Hey. Wow, that's glorious. What a good voice crack, dude. I couldn't do that if I tried. We put our necks on the line every single day. Shut up, Rex. This isn't about you. Nothing personal, Rex. People are dying, yes. We stripped you of the Superman of the team, but... And we've done an analysis of your last 15 engagements and narrowed it down to a failure of leadership. Oh. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Off the hook. <laughs> no, what, a, what an asshole. What an asshole! Oh my god, bro! Dude, people are dying because of this fuck-up, and you're just glad it's not your fault entirely because there's someone else you can- Oh my- Rex, shut the frick up, Rex. <laughs> oh. Uh, Another sorry. Personal. I'm still adjusting to my new body. And I'm instituting a change. Oh god it's the immortal oh frick this guy just he just silently plopped down there oh my god the immortal's now in charge i mean doesn't that make sense he is literally the senior he's the only survivor of the previous justice league guys like this makes a lot of sense i i i hope i mean i'm sure we're gonna get a whole arc of robot guy finding his worth and all that but this just makes so much sense this should not be taken as a slight in any way. This guy is way, way more experienced than anybody here, and he absolutely should be the guy in charge. A couple thousand years of experience should turn things around. Nice entrance. Whoa. Was he waiting for his cue? Kick his ass, bro. Immortal kick his fucking tukis. You were, weren't you? Punch like, him. just over there or something? Did you work it out in advance? I mean, it looked... Effortless, but I feel like a lot of preparation went into it. It's also honestly though He, he is kind of right the way immortal guy just constantly floated in there, but also shut up Rex Oh obvious the team needs more muscle meat bulletproof What? Hey Wait what this guy looks just like mark. He's just black mark he even has the same goggles Amazing ho ho it's just a whole afternoon of new friends. And what do you do? Why did they need this guy? <laughs> oh. I mean, other than have the most obvious name ever. Bulletproof? <laughs> I do everything you wish you could. And that's rich coming from a guy called Rex Splode. You think up that grade school shit yourself? Or did somebody Damn. help you with that? Damn! I came up with it. Yeah, I figured. 
Come on, man. I know you're tight. Be better. I, I was trying to be better. New training schedules are in your lockers. Okay, all right, dude. Rex is like just making me sad. He's like, uh, he's like my uh, my fourteen year old mind as a human being. <laughs> it's just embarrassing to watch. Like I'm getting third degree burns from this level of idiocy. First session is in thirty minutes. Dismissed. Damn. I still want you on the team, Rudy. You good with that? This was not the outcome I desired, but yes. Bro, what do you care? Dude's a literal immortal with thousands of years of experience. Calm down. It's, it's nothing personal, home dog. Of course. I understand. Good man. Good I'm freaking bad. Screw him. He's making a big mistake. Dude, there's always that person. There's always that one guy. That guy's making a mistake by stripping you of your rank. Bro, if the goal is saving people, then why are you getting all pissy about it, dog? No, Cecil's right. My leadership has been suboptimal, and that's a problem. And like any problem, it needs to be fixed. Yeah? And also, that guy was literally Abraham Lincoln. Hey, stranger. Best girl has finally yeah. arrived. Can someone remind the, remind the audience why Amber is hated? Otherwise, life out in the woods is good. A little lonely, but I don't mind. Sounds nice. Wow, so, dude does a lot of talking these days. So? So this is where you tell me how you are. I don't know. Okay, I guess. When was the last uh, time you went out as invincible? Yesterday morning, but I'm just flying around like an idiot. I, I can't stop thinking. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be my dad. Ew. What if that happens? What if I become him and I don't even know it? <laughs> Not your dad, Mark. Just don't, bro. We all know that. Just don't the do whole it. The world knows that. Cecil doesn't. So prove him wrong. Bro, Cecil's face looks like a hot tamale. Can you stop worrying about him? Oh my god, calm down, brother. You don't need to prove anything to him. You just need to prove who you are to yourself. We tracked them down to a warehouse near the harbor. We don't know what they're building in there yet. Are you serious? They left him in the same dimension as they escaped from pri- Why wouldn't they- I'm sorry. My brain is shaking. My brain is trembling. They put them in the same dimension that they broke them out of prison from. Why would they do that? But it's big, sir. <sighs> Let's find out before they turn it on. Give me the immortal. Right. Most dimensions are ruled by Mark and Nolan. What does that mean? There are infinite dimensions. That means there are infinite dimensions that Invincible didn't team up with him. Mark, it's not a good- I'll work for you. I'll follow orders. I'll let you make all the calls. Just put me back out there. Sir, energy levels just went off the chart. Hey, I wonder why this guy's bent over like he, uh, like he has a stick up his ass. Oh, right, his spine was ripped out last season and he's okay somehow. Someone get this kid an earpiece. Yeah! Now watch him fuck up his first mission so everyone can say, See, I told you you weren't ready for the field! <laughs> I love how these guys were all cool with it. These guys are all just like, Yep, this makes total sense to me. I'm gonna transfer all my brain shit to you, and I totally trust you to definitely take care of me in the best possible way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am totally on your side and board of this plan. Yes, this makes lots of sense. Yes, I completely am with you. Power stable. Neural matrices spinning up. Buffers ready and networked. I love when they you know say. Who else I love when they say random hodgepodge words. Neural matrices building up. Yes, we are definitely the jumper cables. Our oodle attached to the nuts of these people. Yes. Pull this off. No one in a million different dimensions. Boom. Yeah. That's right. You two are about to change the world. 
All of them. Open your portals, and we'll connect to the other nine machines. All right. Dude, that's actually kind of badass. That they're literally using them as pipeways just to open portals to alternate universes where they also have these giant machines. That's kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. Transdimensional interconnects are stable. Bring in <laughs> Transdimensional interconnectors. Stable. I love buzzwords. I love science buzzwords. It's my favorite thing. I know that it sounds like I'm joking, but I love when they do this. Them online. I cannot get over how Rick and Morty-ish this is. It's just Rick and Morty, except Rick that ma made the portal fluid by accident. Doctor Strange, except science. One thousand minds synchronized. Your throne. You're doing a ton of processing behind the scenes, so you remember that you're you and not them. Even though you'll have everyone's memories, it's a first for us. But <laughs> because they're one of them's a clone, and they don't know which one's a clone. That means once we start the process, dude. If these guys have sex, is that like self-cest? masturbation or is it just gay it's impossible to stop at these power levels severe brain damage would be the least of your problems i understand he is way too chill I'm with that you know how many people you could save without taking this risk by opening portals to alternate dimensions Ready? Oh, let's ride the lightning nice Ready for the uh, inevitable scream? The no, ah, no, nah, I am in Gojo's un in unlimited void. Ah, <laughs> into that cover. <laughs> it's just like a infinite amounts of levies all just sitting here crying, oh, oh, grumbling. I love how they were so submissive about this entire situation. Do you realize what you're doing? You are taking the agency away from all these people. None of these people are worth anything anymore because every single one of them is merely and purely just a small part of what makes someone else them. These guys are all totally worthless. <laughs> Their individuality and their agency is gone. Uh, I can see! Uh, oh. I... I am large. And Did he say I am large? And I contain multitudes. Locked and stable. We're laughing. Don't say that. Why not? Dude! Are you serious? What a coincidence. It has to be right now, dude. Oh my god. I am experiencing everyone's orgasms at the same time. And then this dude shows up. He just vaporized. That's why, you idiot. No, we have come so close. And that dude is going to be from the dimension where he's evil and be like, oh, evil uh, guy. Spit it out, kid. Okay, there's like a giant mechanical Christmas tree with like a bunch of the god. same guy sitting on it and some portals and the maulers and it doesn't matter just stop them hey shut it down they're literally doing a good thing <laughs> no or i take it down make us oh my do they know who they're talking to <laughs> just explain it to him explain it bro no you have no idea how much i wanted you to say that uh, wait wait it is not finished. I am only half of an orgasm. Invisible. I will become the orgasm. You don't understand. Oh my God! They're actually landing blows on this guy. This dude took over a planet with Omni Man, and these dudes are actually okay. Stop fighting and listen to me. He's stronger than he looks. And I hope this doesn't make him a villain. It's just going to make him a villain because uh, they're going to stop in the middle and he's only going to have half of their minds and he has become the ultimate anti-mark. Maybe. No way he lives up to his name. He's definitely not invincible. Stop. Oh, they said the thing. This is for the greater good. Yeah. I am becoming the orgasm. Yes, this is one of my greatest jokes and I'm going to say it all the time. Uh, I've heard that before. Then I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? What? He just had it. <laughs> Stupidest.
fucking shit. Oh my god. You can just open portals on top of his head that are on the bottom of volcanoes and let the magma fall on him. You had to call in an army of these blue goofers. Mollus! Help your brothers. Help your brothers. Yay. You were using other us's? You said we were special. Help you, brothers. I love how the other guys immediately knew what was going on. <laughs> what was that? The dude that was the worst block in the history of fiction. Hold on, we have to see that one more time. Just for the homies at home. Alright, epic battle. <laughs> Stand there. He just guards like an idiot. <laughs> Still guarding, and he puts his hands down for the kick. <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. For free? Yeah, let's kick him. Stop him, but don't kill him. Oh, we're gonna do both. Shut up. <laughs> oh, oh my God, female molar out there. But enjoy the show. Oh my God. No, that's enough. I said stop. Quit whining. We're almost done. <laughs> Dude, there is more blood in the ground than in his body. I won't build my utopia with blood. No, God, don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Dude, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. This episode was fire in how it built up Mark's mental trauma. I, absolutely fire. This whole plot line with the multiverse thing, it could be interesting if it's done right. But this is so stupid. No, I won't build my empire in blood. To open the portal under freaking Mark and let him fall into somewhere else. Ah! No, I will become the no-gasm. Stop, there's too much power. He'll kill us all. Stop. He literally doesn't care about killing everyone here as long as he doesn't build his empire on blood. <laughs> History's biggest dumbass award goes to Mr. Levy over here. He just cooked 30 people. I will not build my empire on blood. No. Well, at least there's no blood. He was charred alive. That's good. Much better, I'd say. I am now merely a half-gasm. Uh, how is Mark okay? I don't understand. Mark, this guy. Mark, this guy. I guess that's why they call him Invincible. Are Wait, you why was he here alone? Why did it take 20 minutes for these guys to show up? Injured. Are you injured? Really, robot face? Are you injured? This man looks like it's his nose's time of the month. This dude looks like he walked out of a cheese grater, okay? Are you injured? Huh, I guess he really is. Vincible. Invincible. No, 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 not again. Hey, 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 buddy. This was the Maulers, okay? And apparently, lots of them. Look, I, I don't know what they were up to. Dude, he is... Dude, Rex, just shut up. Oh, my God. But I'd say you stopped it pretty fucking spectacularly. He did nothing. They blew themselves up. This is the stupidest fucking shit. There was no reason for him to do that. Literally none. Oh, my God. He became the no-gasm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but listen to Rex. There were other people here. And even the Maulers didn't deserve this. Everyone here did this to themselves. Literally, they, they blew themselves up. 
Dude, this is just overly sad at this point. And you stopped them. This is what happens when you follow my orders. We did good today. Do you understand me? They did Get good. Up. They have no idea what they did. He's telling him, you did good today. This is my orders. It's all right. Bro, you have no idea what you just did. No clue that you just stopped this person from building a utopia that's curing cancer. This dude was literally working on curing cancer, and you stopped him. Good job, bro. We'll handle the cleanup and try to puzzle out what they were up to. The moral will check the site for survivors and report back to me. Holy shit. Let's find out what they're up to now that they're all dead. Yeah, now that we killed every single person here, let's find out what they're up to. Understood. God, I love the government. God, the government's so cool for this. Mom? Mom. How did this happen? How? Mom. She's nowhere near the cup. Oh my god, Mark. It's okay. I'm fine. What happened? Oh, uh, it's just a flesh wound. Don't worry. I'm, uh, it turns out I'm actually invincible. No. I stopped the maulers, but things exploded. Yeah. Are you okay? What? No, I'm just, um, tired. Oh, I, I must have accidentally... Have you eaten? No, I guess I forgot. I'll make dinner. No, you don't have to. I can order. I want to. I want to. I will do something with my own hands that I could fix. Yes. Okay. That would be nice. Hey, also. Some mail came for you. Mail? In this day and age? Wow, you got accepted to the same college as Amber. Wow, it worked out so nicely. You first. Fuck college, bro. No way. You first. Okay. They're still together? No. No. It's same time. Congratulations on being accepted to Upstate University, Miss Bennett. Miss Bennett, wait, this is yours. What do you want it to say? Get the fuck beat. Get the fuck out of this room immediately. What are you saying? She sucks. She sucks so badly. Why does she suck so badly? What do you want it to say? What do you want it to tell you? Oh, I want it to say yes. I can go to the same college. What is that? You bitch fuck shit. I wanted to say that we're going to college together. I don't believe you. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe you now. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Oh my god. I got in. I got in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's this excited getting into college. I'm just saying. She's just the worst. I guess I get to keep my superhero boyfriend after all. <laughs> oh my god. You are insufferable. You dumped him because he was a superhero last season. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I guess you do. Yeah. <gasps> I do not trust your kind, for I am a reverse racist. Oh. Hey, mortal. Um... I, for one, do not think you are ready, and I am just doing this to inflict mental trauma upon you. Thanks for the support today. I, I, I don't know if you Thanks heard for the support today! Thanks for showing up 20 minutes after everyone died! But I'm working for Cecil now, so, you know, if you need some help or want to team up, just give me a... I do not trust Cecil you. thinks you're on our side. <laughs> I knew he would do that. I knew he would do that. I'm not so sure. Yes, remember the time where you literally almost died trying to stop your father from killing all humankind? Well, I think that's pretty sus. I'll be watching you. <laughs> he literally is doing the Batman voice. Oh, God, dude. I'll be watching you. Not to take off the damn helmet! Oh my god! Even game two face! Brother? Is that you? 
<laughs> no, don't tell me he's exactly on the other half. Yes. Yeah. How are you even breathing? I am the orgasm after all. I am Cookie Magneto. What? What did he do to me? You did that to yourself. And this to No, because he's an alternate personality. To me. He did this. It made me a freak. I ruined everything. I... Oh my god, this man's just all brain. When they said big brain, they were talking about this. This dude's got that cheapy doki makeover. He killed so many. People I knew, people I loved, millions died because of him. Right, this this is the one from the universe where Mark was a bad guy, I guess. Your brain scrambled. You've lost track of what memories are yours and which come from the others. They're all my memories, all of them. You need a hospital. I do not need a hospital. I have more brain than ever. No, I need revenge. See, didn't you do good by taking the helmet off? Wow, you really... It's a good thing you didn't want to build your utopia on blood. I need to make him pay! Mark. I won't rest until I get That was awesome. Oh my god. Yes, his head looks like a massive nutsack. However, that's crazy. Honestly, it was a really good first episode. There, there were a couple of dumb moments. But I thought this episode was kind of great. It was a, it did a good job at bringing you back into the story. Uh, however, it there are a couple of things that I thought were a little goofy. Oh wait, what? It still goes? Fine, go. Don't worry about me. Just had half my body melted helping you mutilate yourself. It's the last time I work for anyone else. Yeah. Self-employment arc, let's go! Well, dude had one job. Don't take off the helmet. I will not have an empire built on blood. Kills everybody. Let's go! Let's go! That was a great that was a good episode. I enjoyed it. I'm so happy this is back. I'm so excited for future episodes. Definitely 10,000 likes, and I will do more of this. So do that. And uh yeah. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam!